Wind down your weekend with a look back at the eventful week we've seen in Vicksburg and Warren County. Tonight, we're counting down the top 10 stories that shaped our community. Number 10, the Takaya Beverly trial. In a last minute twist, Claiborne County Circuit Judge Tamika Irving ruled this week to move the retrial for Takaya Beverly, accused of murdering her 14 month old stepdaughter, to take place in the Monroe County Circuit Court. The trial is scheduled to begin May 2nd. Number 9, speed limit change. Vicksburg Police Chief Penny Jones announced on Tuesday that the speed limit on North Washington Street has been reduced to 35 miles per hour. The public has expressed mixed responses to the change. Number 8. Bear killed on 61 South. A black bear was fatally struck by a vehicle just south of the Big Black Bridge in Claymore County on Thursday. The condition of the driver was never released. Number 7. Former MDHS director faces new bribery charges. For more than two years, John Davis has faced five counts ranging from conspiracy, embezzlement, and fraud. He now faces 20 counts, which include nine new counts of bribery. Number six, new amphitheater promised. During the Q&A with VDN on Monday, Vicksburg Mayor George Flags announced an amphitheater would be in place within three years at the new Riverfront Park location, which was donated by the Golding family earlier this year. Number five, shooting at Motel 6. A domestic incident escalated to gunfire at Motel 6 in Vicksburg last Saturday. One person was shot in the leg and the perpetrator, Patrick Tapp, was taken into custody at the scene. Number 4. Drive-by shooting on Clay. A man was shot in the shoulder while traveling in a vehicle down Clay Street Saturday night, the police say. The shooters were passengers in another vehicle that pulled out in front of the victim and opened fire. Number 3. Ethel Street shooting. Monday evening, a shooting on Ethel Street in Vicksburg left one man with a gunshot wound to his leg. The victim's injuries were not believed to be life-threatening. Number two, one Vicksburg Police Department officer terminated, another resigns. Accusations of sexual assault perpetrated by a Vicksburg police officer spawned an internal investigation that led to two officers leaving the force. The accused officer, Derek Dotson, resigned and a booking officer, Jesse Harris, was terminated. A separate criminal investigation is being conducted by the Attorney General's office. And number one, the City of Vicksburg versus Jacques Barr. A legal battle between the city and a local bar have dominated the headlines this week. A stabbing incident at Jacques Bar on Saturday was the latest incident of 158 incidents at the location since December of 2018 and the third time the city ordered the business to temporarily close. The owners, Jay and Kara Parmigiani, filed a lawsuit against Mayor Flags in federal court claiming they've shut down repeatedly and for extended periods without due process a violation of their 14th Amendment rights. By the end of the week, the mayor filed a petition of his own requesting the Warren County Chancery Court revoke their business license on the basis that the environment is unsafe and a public nuisance. For more on these and other stories, visit our website at vicksburgnews.com. Stick around for a quick look at your local three-day forecast to start the work week right after this. Monday kicks off with partly cloudy skies during the morning with thunderstorms likely by the afternoon and a high of 84 dropping to 60 degrees overnight. The rain is expected to carry over into Tuesday morning, then partly cloudy and 70 in the afternoon. Tuesday night will see clear skies and a low around 47. Wednesday looks to be bright and sunny and a high near 75. Join us in wishing Albert Winshull a very happy birthday today. And if you haven't already, go pick up a bottle of his Southern Siege hot sauce. You'll be glad you did. If you or a loved one has a birthday coming up, let us celebrate with you by emailing your birthdays at birthdays at vicksburgnews.com. This has been your Vicksburg Daily News Brief. Thank you for watching.